Macca's bag. I was so excited to see when you had the Macca's bag. Now, one of the requirements for this particular speech is to either focus on vocal variety or body language. Now, today, Patsy has decided to focus on the vocal variety because of the way that the use of the camera. This is better done actually on a stage for the body language. So today we're going to use the effective use of how did Patsy portray herself on a camera with vocal variety. Now, I thought that this was actually quite a good performance by Patsy. What I really enjoyed about this presentation was her authoritative command on the stage and the way she actually really owned the stage. Now, looking at the outfit, she was dressed for success today. And she had great use of the camera and she talked to us. She didn't talk at us, she talked to us. So it was communicating to us in a way that was really well done. And uh, I really enjoyed the way that she connected with the audience. So I'm not going to look at the, vocal, at the body language, but I'm going to look at the vocal variety. But I'm also going to look at parts of the body language because it does contrast in with the vocal variety. The first one, and this is the challenge I'd like to um, encourage Patsy with. The first one is I saw Patsy sad in a happy spot and then happy in a sad spot. Now, one of the reasons why I'm talking about this and why it's important, and it's such a shame that the, the camera wasn't, I was looking at the recording, the shame that we didn't get the recording was there was a part in the speech where you were talking about um, the meditation and it should have been a sad, low but, but you were so happy and you were excited and you were smiling. So I, I want to see when we're talking about a sad spot, we need to be sad, low, and authoritative. So that's what I would encourage for you when doing that. Whereas in the end, you were talking about a happy spot, but you didn't have the happiness to portray it because what will happen is the muscles will um, be injected and we will get to see you brightly. Now, when you were talking about the meditation, you were happy. This is where I was talking about the happy part. I want to hear us going on the journey of meditation and enlightenment. Think about that because that's what meditation is about, the low, gentle calmness. Now, I can't do it because I just can't handle enlightenment and meditation because I'm 100 miles per hour. That's just my personality. So in this speech, I think you need to complement the two because that is what we think of when we think of meditation because of that low voice. That's what my would challenge Patsy on. Overall, I love the authority performance. Your connection with the audience was great. You used the camera really well. Your outfit was match matching what you were talking about. It was nice. It was simplistic, but it was elegant to say, not, not to say less. I really like the way that you talk to us, not at us. Just thinking about when you have the body gestures or when you have the vocal, which match with the vocal variety, smile in those parts where you have to smile. Be sad in the parts where you have to be sad so that we have that intuition or the intonation between happiness and sadness. And then, of course, focusing on the meditation, slow, calm, and gentle. But otherwise, you are flourishing, Patsy. And I hope the slow calmness can bring the matters out in all of us. Back to you, Manira. Thank you. All right. The most exciting part is the table topic session, which will be led by distinguished Toastmaster Lai Cookbook. Uh, let's welcome him. Thank you, Manira. The yeah. table topic session is a session where we practice being asked impromptuly and answer on our feet. For this session, you have you will have one to two minutes. The timer shan will show you green when you reach one minute, yellow one minute thirty seconds, and red when you reach two minutes. So when you see reds, you have thirty seconds to wrap up. So anyone would be would like to be the first volunteer. If I pick someone, Diana, yes, you, you want to try since you unmute yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will let you try. Okay. My topic for you is a calm sea. Uh, no, a smooth sea never met a skilled sailor. A smooth sea never met a skilled sailor. Thank you, Devil Master. Smooth sea never met 
skilled sailor. Simply means that the sea itself, the ocean, is an ever unpredictable situation. So, as someone who never know how to swim, an uncharted ocean is something that I don't want to even try. But then again, at some point, I have to face this challenge. So at some point, I have to go to the ocean and swim or even get a boat and go around it. So in order to be, in order for a sea to be a skilled sailor, a sailor has to go and explore without fail. Failure is something that I know as a person I have to face. And a smooth sea, although we want it to, be, to see at all times, when we visited them, it will never be smooth. It will never be always smooth. So as a human, and in this case, I could be a sailor, I need to learn to navigate life, just I learn to navigate the uncharted territory of an ocean or the sea. I have to go beyond the beach. So... If one day the smooth sea made a skilled sailor, this sailor will travel around the globe without a problem. And we will have one more traveler that will break the old record. So yes, one day I will be that skilled sailor, go through a travel sea and claim that I've conquered all fear. With that, back to the topic master. Thank you, Diana, for trying. Yes, indeed, our life situation sometimes is like a big sea, yet we are the sailor of our life, our unique navigating it through the sea. Thank you, Diana, for trying. Next one, see from the list is Duncan. You ready? Your topic is growing by sharing. Growing by sharing. Growing by sharing. I've not heard that one before, but I think it's a really good way to go about life. If I try to keep everything to myself, I don't share anything with anybody else. Am I ever going to grow? But a lot of people think they will. There are many people who think just acting on their own, they can do everything in life and they can get an elbow up on some other people and they can get there faster, get there first. It's all for me. I'm number one. I'm going to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to keep, I'm going to keep everything to myself. I'm not going to share anything because knowledge is power. Yeah. I'm going to keep that to myself. But what if there is something that you forgot or you didn't know in your pursuit of power and greatness you forgot perhaps that you need some more information about the job that you're in you don't know everything that there is if you had just asked your colleague oh can i can can you tell me something about this particular job is there anything i need to know but he would say no nah, no nah, you're on your way to the top you don't you never share anything with me so i'm never going to share anything with you so you get there and you discover you've got your project completely wrong it's really important to share you must share because when you share you share not only in your success you share in your colleague's success your family success it's all part of the big picture and we all grow with that success we all flourish as we share, as that shared experience takes us to the top, all of us to the top, not just one person, but all of us, we all gain, we all get something out of it. So yeah, you grow by sharing. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you, Duncan. Yes. To, 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 to master. Thank you, Duncan. <laughs> yes, I agree with you. We learn, we grow by sharing with each other. Like in our session, we share our story, we share our evaluation with each other, we positive feedbacks for each other. 
That's what we learn and flourish together. Next one would be Jeffrey. Jeffrey, your topic is your mindset determine your growth. Your mindset determines your growth. Thank you, Table Topic Master. What a wonderful topic. Nine years ago, when I was in the club level, competing as a contestant in a speech contest, my topic is all is mindset. That was the ever first time I joined the contest and won after a few years. Because in that club, I was very young. Not measured, not met, not much substance to say, but throughout the years, I learned to contest that I learned something, and then they see something in me that you should contest Jeffrey, club level, win or lose, just just do it, don't care, you win or lose. If you win, it's a bonus, and who knows? I got first runner up in my club level at that time. And I was amazed. I thought, this is uh, this is unreal. This is surreal. I never been any contest in the public speaking, in my in my ever club, uh, ITC Bintang, which is my English club last time. And the most important part is, I have to agree with myself. I have to be frank with myself that it's okay to be have some butterfly in my stomach, to be human. From there, I learned. And last year, I come back again, Toastmaster, join as a member, but this time in, in my national language, Bahasa Melayu, in, in Malaysia. So I want to carry up my, my patriotism in Malay, in Bahasa Melayu, to the next level. Of course, uh, all these things is not easy. Everything when we start is not easy. But from training and, and resilience and so on, we can learn a lot of new things. So at the end of the day, we have to do some action plan. We got to do it and execute it and make sure we do it beautifully. Back to you, Table Topic Master, Line. Thank you, Jeffrey. I like what you said on your mindset that from English, you want to grow from the Bahasa Malaysia side is a way of learning from how we speak uh, our national language more fluently. Next one would be Alicia. You ready? I'm with first Alicia. Tough time don't last, but tough people does. Tough time don't last, but tough people does. I love that question, Lai. You know why I love that question? Because I've been through very tough times over the last, not one year, but two years. Let me just tell you and recap what's happened over the last two years. I have moved five times in the space of five, six months. So I've had to pack up from Sydney down to Mostar, Mostar to Sydney, Sydney to Newcastle, Newcastle back to Sydney. And I had to move to Sydney in the space of two days. And I only had four hours to get back to Sydney. Tough times also mean losing my job, losing the roof over my head, losing the ability to drive, losing the ability to be able to physically walk long distances. That's one of the tough times. But I'm sitting here looking at all of you, eating at my, one of my favourite places, Guzman and Gomez. Yes, I'm actually at the fast food place. Of course, not McDonald's, but at Guzman and Gomez. And I sit here and I say, you know what, never give up. Never give up. Because if I had given up, I'd be in the ground by now. And I'm sure I would have been a moment in history, a moment in time. But I never gave up. And you know why I never gave up? Because of the people who surrounded me, the people who cared. People like Catherine, people like Pat. In my darkest hours, I would call Pat Yap. And she was there for me when I picked up the phone. And she picked up the phone on the other end. And for me, it was a very tough time. Being able to come to clubs like Advanced Hashtag, Ardent Speakers, 
to share these stories, to be able to say that you will never know when your time is up or you never know what you may go through. But I have never given up. I now can say on the other side, and I am looking at the other side now, that I never gave up. I now live in Sydney. I'm five minutes from my dad who had a massive heart attack just three days before Christmas. I am back in Sydney now to look after him. Yes, he now has cancer, unfortunately, but I still have not given up. And I am looking to start my new job or a new job very shortly, working for myself, my own business, and, of course, going back to university. I've just been accepted into one of the university courses. So never give up. In time. Back to you, life. Thank you, Alicia. The never give up spirit. And Alicia, all the best in your new job as well. And the last one, Janet, since you want to be okay, here is your topic. Share with us a habit that's a game changer in your life. A habit that's a game changer in your life. Okay, thank you, Toastmasters uh, Live. A habit that a game changer in my life. I have this habit whereby I would like to delay my action. Most of the time, I find simple tasks that I can actually use to complete the task. Sometimes there are situations where I could not finish the task because it was too difficult. But if I attempt it, attempted it, it will be very easy for me to, to finish it. So one of the habits that I have been trying to overcome is procrastination. I find it difficult to work on some difficult uh, tasks, but now I find it, it is easy because I see it as an opportunity for me to improve. Even though it is something very complicated, but when I attempt it, with full heart and also with um, creativity. It actually allows me to work on it and not to procrastinate. This is how I became more proactive in addressing times that are challenging, as well as I see them as an opportunity for me to flourish and become a better person. So this is the habit that I have been working on and I have overcome it and of course, this will continue to continue to be my consciousness to improve in myself, not to procrastinate, but to attempt it with a goal. Thank you. Back to you, Toastmaster Lai. Thank you, Janet. Yes, sometimes procrastination delay or, or works. So that's, it happens to me. And so my habit is when I have a tough task, I will set a day to get it done. On that day, I'll be focused on doing that rather than delaying it all the time. Thank you for all the table topic speakers. Speakers, all of you have done very well in attempting the topics provided by me. Now, I will pass the session to our Toastmaster of the day, Munira. Thank you, Toastmaster Lai. I believe uh, Toastmaster Ali would do the voting session, right? Okay, let's see. You still fall. Another tree. I think we can continue while they are voting. Okay, sure. All right, next up in the agenda is the table topic evaluation by Toastmasters Tracing. Thank you so much, our Toastmaster of the day. And today, everyone, let's give a round of applause to all of the table topic speakers because today I believe that they inspire all of us with their powerful message and with their growth uh, mindset. So we could see their growth mindset in their speeches. So now let me start with our first speaker, our member Toastmaster, Diana. 
first speaker, very brave. And we love uh, her speech. Like she talked about, not only about the success, also talk about the failure in her speech. And of course, uh, like uh, she, um, the message also, I love it. And here, one humble suggestion for our speaker when is like to check uh, the connection. Like I couldn't see her movement very well in one place, only like this. So please move your body and own your state. You know, this is your state and just own it uh, with the full of energy by using your gesture. So that's my humble suggestion. And yeah, I like your speech and uh, great. Uh, you were the first speaker and you did it. Thank you. And next is our speaker too, Toastmaster Duncan. Very energetic and enthusiastic speaker because we can see his lively gestures. He was using, I'm gonna make it, yeah, yeah, yeah. His energy is like super amazing. And of course he used his hand gestures, which are very uh, lively and also, you know, bringing a lot of meaning in his gestures. For example, big picture. He used like the big picture. So we can really learn from him how to use our gestures according to our words, like big. And then energy post like, yeah, 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 something like this. So I really love it. And next is he also like his language, uh, knowledge is power. The usage, uh, the beautiful language he used a lot in his speech. And next is I love his voice. Play the, our vocabulary in a speech really attractive to our audience. And he was the best example uh, showing us how to play our voice in the energetic way, in the inspiring way, in the powerful way, uh, very aligning with the gestures and um, vocab variety today. So kudos to you, Toastmaster Duncan. And here, one humble suggestion for Toastmaster Duncan is, there was one dialogue. So for the dialogue, I could recommend to use the different voice. For example, mom and child, different voice, or uh, boss and colleague, different voice, something like this. So only one humble suggestion is to use the different voice in your dialogue. So all in all, it was very uh, inspiring and of course very energetic uh, speech. Uh, kudos to you and keep it up. And moving on to our speaker three, uh, your mindset determine your growth. Toastmaster Jeffrey, I really love his speech. Like he is growing a lot. We can see him in the speech like later, he is improving a lot, developing. And today he was standing in the table topic session. So he prepared it uh, intentionally, standing position. So congratulations. And the second thing I love is his message. His message is also beautiful. I believe that everybody can catch his message because he was telling with all his heart in his speech. So amazing. And yeah, for you, uh, improvement is to, most of the time you were using, uh, he was using his hands like this only most of the time, repeatedly. So please use uh, your gestures, a purposeful gesture, meaningful gesture, according to your words. Uh, make them align and then bring it the value to it. So only hand gestures. Thank you. Uh, all in all, you are improving a lot. Congratulations. And you are flourishing every time uh, you deliver a speech. So congratulations. And next is Distinguished Toastmaster Alicia. Uh, I really love her speech because he, she was smiling uh, when she was talking about, you know, never give up her story. She was like enjoying and also she was, you know, happy uh, about herself. So she was smiling. And next is her very short and powerful message, never give up. So when she... Uh, when she add on her story and the message, never give up, which is amazing. And she even... Uh, call one person from this media who is DTM Alicia. So he just like, uh, yeah, share her story. And there is one person in her life. She was always there for her in the top time. So that's a great conveying message. And one humble suggestion is uh, she was using her phone. So she could only use one hand. One hand is holding the phone. So uh, th this is a like challenge for all of us uh, when we are joining with the phone. So yeah, uh, maybe you can put your phone in one uh, place and then use your hand gestures like you used to use uh, in your previous speeches. 
So yeah, uh, all in all, um, a great speech. Uh, thank you so much uh, for inspiring all of us, uh, all the speakers. And the last but not the least, Toastmaster Janet about practice. And she only like um put the audience like two words. One is procrastination, and then another one is attempted. So she give us, she show us the problem, and she even show us the solution. So that's a great speech, Toastmaster Janet. And for uh, you, uh, what I love to uh, give you uh, advice is please talk more. Uh, we believe that you can talk more. Please extend uh, your speech a little bit because it was a little bit short. So all in all, great, very short and simple attempt and procrastination, very clear message. And thank you so much. So today, everything uh, was amazing. And also every speaker, you all were flourishing in your table topic speech. So thank you so much for inspiring us. And back to you, our Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Shizin. All right, now is the technical reports. Let's start with our grammarian, um, Toastmaster Helena. Thank you, Toastmaster Munira. Let's start with the uh, counter report. But first, I would like to tell you that I totally forgot to somehow note down the uh, count of uh, all the speech crashes because I only realized I was also the not only grammarians but also the uh, counter because when Alicia did her speech for her evaluation speech, somehow I realized, oh, I haven't noted down anything about a uh, counter report. But then again, when I recall back, I believe that the previous speakers before, before, before Alicia, they have very minimum speech crashes. And I would say that almost none, no speech crashes. And after that, I realized that everyone has very good uh, speech. Basically, you don't have any R uh, or uh in your speech. So kudos to all the speakers today. You did flourish in your speech. <laughs> and then for word of the day, flourish, I managed to do not note down a few speakers that has somehow use this word of the day, flourish. I just noticed that Pat have used it three times. Munira has used it three times. Alif, uh, our SAA, even the start, the start of the meeting, you have used it three times as SAA. Very good. And also, Alicia has used it two times in your speech. And Shusin has used it two times. I noticed that the none of the table topic speaker today is... is it has actually used our word of the day. So you may want to actually use it. And please remember the word of the day. And for today is flourish. For the good use of sentence and the uh, good use of sentence, I noticed few. Um, there are like um, maiden appearance. And also my physical and mental shutting down. Uh, letting the mantra into my body. Uh, knowledge is power. In your pursuit of power and greatness. And also, there are a lot of good phrases from our table topic session today. You can see a lot. There are five and all five are very good sentences and very good phrase. And some improvement on the sentence, perhaps there's only few. One that I managed to catch is everyone has 30 minutes uh, instead of saying that because I believe that he wants to actually mention this is about the table topic session. Instead of saying everyone has 30 minutes, you may want to actually mention all participants has 30 minutes so that it's specific to the participants. I guess that's all for my grammar and counter report. I would like to pass it over to our Toastmaster of the day, Munira. Thank you. Next is our timer, Toastmaster Shan. Uh, timer report, the passive speaker is seven, seven minutes and 25, uh, 38 seconds. Table topic speaker, Diana is one minute and 55 seconds. Duncan is two minutes and 10, mi 10 seconds. Jeff, Jerry, Jerry is two minutes and 18 seconds. Alicia is two minutes and 14 seconds. Jen, uh, sorry, Jen, Jen is one minute and 33 seconds. Thank you very much. Back to the Toastmaster of the uh, day. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Shane. I'll pass it on to our Madam President, President Patricia. Wow, thank you so much. Let me just make sure that all of the functions are coming here. I 
Is this better? Yes, great. Yeah. Thank you so much for being a part of our amazing meeting, certainly flourishing everyone. Now, I would actually like to especially congratulate our new members, certainly our Toastmaster of the day, Munira. Thank you so much for leading all of us to such a great show. So we want to honor you and give you three solid round of applause. Thank you, Munira. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Monira, I hope you felt good after being our Toastmaster of the day. Yes, thank you so much. And also, I want to acknowledge our first timer, timer, Sean Chen. Chen, thank you so much for <laughs> thank being you. our timer. <laughs> it's so <laughs> difficult, but you managed to time all the table topic speakers, the evaluator, yes. and also the speaker as well. So, well done. We want to give you a double thumbs up. <laughs> Thank Shine, you very we much. Made it. Thank you. <laughs> and also three, three full big round applause as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Of course, to commemorate this moment now, we would like to have some of the members and guests to give us some feedback. Now, we are at 180 right now, so I would like to invite some of our members and timers. And oh yeah, timer as well. So timer, Sean, would you like to share with us your experience right now to be a timer? Hopefully you felt good, <laughs> even though it's so difficult. Yeah, go ahead and unmute yourself, Sean. Because a lot of times, a lot of us are always scared of being a timer. So Sean, you can just unmute yourself. And the next person I would like to invite is actually Sandini. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Yeah, and Shan, how did you feel after being a timer? Yes, it's very, very nervous, but I like it. it yeah. My life is always need to nervous for anything. Yeah. So I I would like to another time to be a timer and I will do better again. Thank you very much. Wow, I like the learning spirit. That's how we all improve ourselves. And I'm yes. going to invite Sanduni, yeah. Because Sanduni is one of the most popular timer in our club. So Sanduni perhaps want to share some encouraging words to Shan on how he has managed today. And you know how moving mm. forward, you can give him some quick tips. Go ahead, Sanduni. Yeah, thank you very much, Pat. And uh, when Shan is do, uh, telling that he was doing his uh, first time timer uh, role, so I can remember how I uh, got used to timer so i have done like 20 or 30 times timing uh, so far in these meetings uh, so and now i'm so confident in timing but there are times i go wrong but uh, congratulations for uh, keeping a step forward and you'll be a good timer uh, thank, so, thank you yeah and uh, the about today's meeting, as always, it's a, a motivational and inspirational one. And even the thoughts of uh, everyone, table topic session, it was wonderful. Everyone's experiences and things that they gain in their lives were uh, shared with everyone. So this is really an amazing uh, place for us to grow. It's the power of growth. And over to you, Patricia. That's amazing sharing. Thank you so much, Sanduni. So I also want to acknowledge Sanduni has grown so much. She is certainly embodies the power of growth, role model that I even aspire by Sanduni. As we also keep learning. And that's why we love to have all of us to be here as often as you can. I know it sounds a little crazy to come every week for a meeting, but if we practice that every week without fail, you will certainly see yourself improving and i'm seeing yes patsy is nodding right now because she's certainly improving as well so let's hear from our very dedicated role who always here open the room at 12 for all of us and we all know who he is he's been very very dedicated in his role and after alif has shared i would like to invite janet to share as well because janet is always one of the guest who comes and I notice she grows a lot as well. So before that, Alif, inspire all of us. What makes you want to grow all the time? Alif? Well, my inspiration is just simple. If you don't grow, then you're not doing anything. 
just do <laughs> something just a little bit jogging you go to work in the morning or you just wake up just simple goof because some of us for some of us waking up in the morning is always is it's also difficult so just do a bit more a bit more a bit more every day and you become a better person that's it that's yeah. my motivation a little bit at a time right one step at a time just make sure you grow either attending toastmasters meeting or any activity that you really enjoy well done thank you so much alif let's hear from janet then we will be on for a group photo go ahead janet ah so if Good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, the power of growth this team strikes me because I like to grow. Not growing trees, but to grow in my development, especially the communication skills and also leadership skills. So I find Toastmasters as a platform within this six months plus. I have seen myself grown as a confident speaker yet I have still room for learning and improvement and this, besides that uh, I would like to also share um, the experience with others encouraging the younger or the new members in my Toastmasters Club in Keysight. Thank you very much. Back to you. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, fantastic role model. I've seen how Janet has grown in her speaking skills and certainly in her leadership skills. Keep growing. All right. Now we're going to take a group photo right now. So I want to encourage all of us, if you are able to, please turn on your video. <laughs> and our Patsy is ever ready to capture the moment. So today, since we are growing, feel free to use any emoticon or any action that you feel can tell everybody that you are growing. I think there's one of the um, little button there that can you can grow a tree if you want to. So go ahead and use the filter as well, okay? Yeah, let me see if I can find my filter. <laughs> that's <laughs> funny. Okay. All right. That's impressive. The power of the growth. Um, have a, a photo. I'm going to count. One. Two. Oh, that's a beautiful. Three. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, good. Back to the yeah, thank Special you. request. Yeah. Special request. Just do another photo. Okay. Another photo. I want to imagine you are growing for another 10 years. How would you look like? Okay. Keep growing for another 10 years. How would you look like? Okay. Let's take a photo of that. And you can use any emoticon as well if you want to. All Do right. we have to make okay. our older? Yes, yeah, yeah. you want to, or you stay forever young, right? <laughs> okay, that's you forever young of this flourishing smile. Yeah. One, two, wow, three. Great, thank you. It's wonderful. Yay. Wonderful, Exciting. wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now, before I declare who the table topics winner are, I have to let you know today we actually have a very hard time because it's almost neck to neck. Everybody was so great. So the very powerful message that I would like to let all of you know is the moment you embrace growth, you never know how far you can go. And I also want to acknowledge all the Table Topic speakers. You know who you are right now. Go ahead and please type your name in the chat box because you are the growth model for all of us. Okay, after this, I will still announce the winner, okay? Because there will still be one winner, no matter how hard it is, we still have managed to find one winner. So all the five table topic speakers, go ahead and type your name in the chat box because we want to honor you as our growth model for this meeting. And it's so important, right? Yes, we see Duncan. Yeah, Bly has left already. Yes, Jeffrey, go ahead. Alicia, Deanna, Janet, okay, go ahead, type your name in the chat box. All right, and now our Alif, are you ready with the certificate to announce who the table topic speaker is? Yay, ding, 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 ding. We want to honor Munira for leading us to the power of growth. We love you, and certainly we can't wait to see all of us growing together hand in hand. Thank you, Munira. Let's find out who the best table topic is but before that Munira are you able to just 
since we have your poster, yeah, just uh, Spotlight Munira and myself will take a quick poster. We will take a quick photo. Munira, are you there? Yes, yes. This, uh, okay. I Spotlight, you both already. Yeah. Yes, uh, okay. Are you ready? All right. Have a beautiful yes. smile. One, two, three. Yeah. Yay. Uh, no, uh, Pat, you got your eyes closed, so you have to oh. be, yeah, okay. uh, let's do another beautiful photo, all right, and have your eyes stay there, no balloon, otherwise it's different, <laughs> one, two, flourish and smile, thank you, that's wonderful, great, thank you, great. Thank you, thank you, and the best table topic speaker goes to... Ding 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 ding. <laughs> wow, Duncan Barr, congratulations for being our best table topic speaker. Thank you so much, Duncan. Thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you, Duncan. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations, uh, Duncan. Yeah, that's a capture a beautiful smile for both okay. of you. One, two, oh yeah, three. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you. you very much, everyone. Thank you. Congratulations, Duncan, for your very powerful message. Next up, we want to honor and acknowledge all our role players. Thank you, Munira. Thank you, Patsy. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Lai. Thank you, Suisin. Thank you, Arlena. Thank you, Sean. And thank you, Alu. Let's follow everybody and take a good photo. Okay, are you ready? I think we got everybody, right? Everybody, Alicia, are you still, yeah, it's still, yeah, looking for Alicia. Alicia, are you there? Yes. I'm, I'm here. You guys just I need to spotlight like me. Okay, okay. ready? Oh, One, <laughs> two, three, three. Thank you. That's a great. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now we want to invite everybody to on your video. Thank you, everyone, for attending our meeting. 134, but it's okay. We'll treat it at 133. <laughs> okay, everybody, everybody, let's remove the spotlight and include everybody in the photo. If you are able to turn on your video, today yeah, we always that, have 20 in us. Yes. Let's embrace our probable growth and have a very yes. beautiful photo, everyone. So, um, okay, let me see whether everybody's uh switch on. Thomas E, would you like to switch on? I saw Thomas earlier. Okay, uh, yeah. I have the background photo actually. Do you need oh, that? Right. Okay, sure. that's fine. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, smile, one, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. With this, the power of growth is the end of our meeting. But before that, wow, well, Duncan, you have your very shocking. <laughs> I may ask on. Okay, before that, before you go, let us know what is the power of growth. I want in detail, what is it that you want to grow this time, okay, this year, 2024. What do you want to grow for me? I let you know end of this session, okay? Go ahead and type in the chat box. What do you want to grow? Type it in the chat box. Deanna, what do you want to grow this year? Time management. High five to you. Time management. Yes, I'm with you, Sanduni. Good habit. What is your good habit, Thomas Yee? Go and be more specific. A journey to victory. Yes, I like that. Journey to victory. How about you, Duncan? You are learning something too, right? Pathways learning. I was learning yes. how to, yeah, I'm trying to learn something here. I put this on my head, yeah. try and grow through, through education. Good, good, good. Yes, Sean, what do you want to grow? Number of books, read. Okay, good planner, complete your pathways. Fantastic, Janet, keep us posted. Sean, what do you want to grow? Oh, English skills, of course. Yes, I'm also growing my English skills. Alicia, what do you want to grow? Now I my now clubs I in district my clubs in district forty nine become the district forty nine club growth director. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We like that to grow more people. How about Jeffrey? What do you want to grow? And Helena and Munira, Jeffrey, you first. 
uh, in the chat box, eh? Yes, in the chat box, let me know because I can't read the chat box. <laughs> Being a good planner. Oh, good. Okay, building confidence in public speaking. Yes, certainly. Munira, you are there already, so we will have more opportunities. And how about her, Lina? Uh, I have to put in a chat box where I put there, I, I want to be more healthy this year, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. More that's clean eating, more exercise. Solid. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's the aim this year. We are all together. Fantastic. Now, it looks like we are all ready. We are all changing our filter. So before we go, go ahead and change your filter again. We'll take one last photo. <laughs> Let me change my filter. This is so fun. We have officially adjourned the meeting, but we have to <laughs> also want to have a little bit more fun because growing, let me share with you, growing, you've got to make it fun so it will last. Otherwise, it will not last. Trust me. Everything, you've got to have fun, yeah? Everything have fun, then it will last better. Let me see. Yeah, I will just have a little guy here. Patsy, whenever you are ready. I'm here. Everybody has those emojis. So, okay, three, two. Hi, Alicia with the cat. Cat. All right. Thank you. Great. Okay. Yay. That's wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. See you next week. Next week, we do need a Toastmaster of the day. Sean, you want to be a timer again? If it's okay with you? Yes. Okay. I, I will do my best. Yes, you will do your best. Yes. We need a yes. Toastmaster of the day. Oh, you can do Toastmaster. Yay, fantastic. Okay. Alicia will do Toastmasters. The power of cats. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Patsy, you can get ready your cats. Alif, do you have any cats? Not with me right now. <laughs> oh, not with the you. Power okay. Of okay. Cats. cats. Okay, bring a bring a toy cat is fine, okay? <laughs> you don't have to have a real cat, okay? All right, Helena, you are leaving now. Okay, good, good. So we have our Toastmaster of the day, all right, the power cat. And certainly we want to invite everybody here as well. So who wants to be Table Topics Master? Duncan, if you want to be, up to you. 